Okay, and welcome to another shaving video. Today will be a bit of a departure shaving-wise from the normal straight razor shave that I do. I'll be using uh, this uh, Kampf razor um, that was uh, sent to me to have the um, blades for the razor honed. Um, I just did a video uh, showing how I have honed these blades, but I need to do at least one shave test. Here's the razor. Um, uh, the razor was patented in the late 1800s. Uh, and uh, uh, is a, a beautiful piece of work. Uh, it has a, it's a sort of a lather catcher design. Uh, and, and I'm going to take the Saturday blade, which is the one that I just sharpened, and load, load that blade into the razor. As you can see, it slides, slides in, and there are some tiny, tiny stops right here and here that the blade goes goes and hits and then there is a little little spring that comes up and and keeps keeps the uh, keeps the uh, blade secure I'm going to move that spring down so that I don't touch it on my face when I'm shaving um, all right, uh, that's, that's loading the blade. The, uh, other thing, uh, about this razor is that the, the handle that I used for, uh, honing the blades, um, comes out of the blade holder. There we go handle comes out and screws into the razor. So now I have a, a nice long handle that I can use to shave with. Okay, blades loaded, handles set up, so let's go take a shave. Hi, and welcome to uh, the continuation of my uh, shave with the Kampfe Brothers uh, uh, Star Razor. Um, today, I'll be using uh, Tusitala, which um, to my understanding was one of the last American square rigged warships. The, um, here's what the soap looks like. Um, the scent has, uh, uh, was done by a perfumer. So the description is power, flowery, uh, but it's got rum, uh, tobacco, uh, and also some um, uh, high notes that uh, give it quite a lot of complexity. It's a wonderful scent. I'll put the, uh, the actual description of the scent in the, in the uh, video uh, description notes. Um, so let's get started and see what shaving with a, a Kampfe Brothers razor is like. The brush today is a uh, Umo uh, with a Umo brush made in China with a uh, 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 high, man, uh, high Mountain White Badger Knot, their uh, highest quality knot. As usual, I'm, I'm uh, loading directly from the tub. Uh, the uh, Gentleman's Knot um, uh, soap is an, more of a modern soap. Um, Meaning, meaning, kind of, kind of dense, uh, uh, not very, not very uh, foamy.
It's been uh, since July. I've been shaving with a straight razor consistently since July. So this is this is going to be an adventure for me. Also, I've never shaved with uh, one of these razors before. But, you know, it's a device that has an edge. Uh, let's do some actual lathering here. scent is incredible very warm there is some uh, there is some sort of a fruit fruit note in this but I'm definitely getting the um, like a cardamom and uh, I'm definitely getting the rum note but I'm I'm a little bit um, partial to rum so Kind of makes sense that I would. You can see this is pretty, I managed to get the moisture in the brush pretty, pretty well done. I'm gonna add a little bit here. Paint in some. All right, enough fooling around. Yep, there's a blade there. Very nice. Like a micromedia open comb. Uh, this, uh, you, you need to sort of find the angle, and that angle is pretty shallow. I thought that the spring, at the top of the blade would hit the face, but it doesn't. I love the steampunk styling on this thing. Really takes no time to become comfortable with where the edge is. This is the uh, Saturday blade. This is a seven day set of which five blades remain. This is the Saturday blade that I just made a sharpening video of.
Really nice blade feel. I'll see you here in a sec. How the first pass went. Okay, set that down. Not my razor, so I want to be a little bit careful. So I don't know, I, I sharpened all of these blades uh, up to 12K and uh, I don't know, I, I figure the steel is pretty old. I don't know whether, whether um, the blades can take, can take a, uh, can take more refinement. Um, I did use tape, which means that the the, uh, the bevel angle is wider than it could be, um, and there isn't a lot of because of the shape of the body of the razor. There isn't there isn't a lot of um, uh, you can't get the body much closer to the skin. You can't get the top of the razor much closer to the skin. And uh, I kind of feel like uh, it would cut a little better if I could. I'd say the edge on this blade, and they're all like this. I I I made an effort to to um, have each eat the edges on each. Each of these blades, uh, I made an effort to have them be uniform. So that each, each blade should perform pretty close to what the last one did. I feel it's ever so slightly... Well, it's actually better when I, when I really get low with it. Again, like you would with a, um, a flying wing or a micromedia open comb. On the first pass, it definitely felt a little tuggy. I can feel, I can feel it cutting. Doesn't feel as smooth as a straight razor would to me, but, and again, you know, it's removing beard. Also, it feels awkward to me to actually not be using a straight razor.
excellent, excellent uh, slickness. on this soap. So if you're uh, into the lore of tall ships, rum and tobacco, this could be for you. Sorry, finding, finding it to be a little bit more natural the more I use the razor. Wow, I can tell this is a close shave. I'm definitely feeling the, the two guards here hit my skin, uh, but it doesn't seem to matter. It's really giving me a BBS shave. I'm using my normal two pass pattern. Yeah, uh, letting letting these ride on the skin. Um, Helps, helps with, um, hang on, wow, oh. wow, I'm going to do a little, a little touch up here. I did this section before I was really comfortable with the razor. Amazing. Really good shaver. Really good shaver. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of fun. And it gave me a terrific shave. Okay, let's go for the aftershave here. Uh, here we go. Should show it to you. There's the uh, Tositala bottle. Shaking it up. I don't. I don't know whether this is, has alcohol in it or not. Won't matter. Hmm. Yeah. So in the aftershave, the uh, 
sort of citrus and fruit aspects, fruity aspects of this blend come out a little more. But there's still the there's still that rum, rum and tobacco and tobacco note. I guess the top notes are probably to give you the reminiscence of of uh, salt sea air or something, but I live right next to the water. I don't quite get that. Um, nonetheless, a terrific, terrific scent. All right, thank you for staying with me. Uh, a lot of fun for me. Uh, I'm going to uh, sanitize and pack up everything and get all of that in the mail. Uh, as usual, if you have uh, any questions or comments, leave them uh, for me and I'll do my best to uh, answer them. Thanks again for joining. Bye.